Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello. Marsha Holland here, Glam Mama. Hello. Hi, Sharon. Yes, hello, hello. Hey, Patricia, Terry. Happy Sunday. How are y'all? Getting ready for work. Already did one eye, can you tell? Hi, Misty. How are you? Hi, Joy. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, everybody. I can barely see that. I'll be so glad to go to the eye doctor. Boom. Now, let me see. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Anna. Melanie, hello. Okay, this is the eye look I'm going for today. This right here is pretty simple. Pretty simple for me, anywho. I did one eye. to do shoot I hope my glue's not dry <gasps> I forgot to do my eyelash dang it I was letting the glue dry let me put my eyelash on real quick I bet it's I bet it's too dry hang on a minute guys you'll see the difference These are those uh, Salon, I think they're Salon Perfect clusters. I like the little spaces between. can't believe I forgot to put my eyelash on before I came on. There you go. There you go. Now let's see, do I need to let that glue dry and then I can touch it up some. I like these lashes. How's everybody? So glad you came to my house. Asmi, hello. If anybody's new here, tell me you're new. Hey, Melise. Am I saying your name right, Melise? Hey, Kayla. Thank you. Patricia, hello, babe. Thank you for sharing. Ashley, hi. Hi, everybody. Jasmine, Audra. So nice to see all you guys. Maya, Peggy. Hey, hey, hey. Arian. Okay, let me show you what I did. Mimi, hi. Okay, this is what I did. Let that dry a little bit. Okay, I didn't even do a base coat today. Can you believe that? Because I am always saying I do a base coat. Today's palettes, let me show you. Today's palettes, the purple is coming from my NYX Steam. I'm going to use the purple out of here. That right there. And I think, did I use the white? Maybe I did, I don't know. And then I did touch up a teeny bit with this After Charge. This purple. Just a tiny bit in the corner. That was this one. Bad habit. And then the, the light color there on the lid is from my Love You So Mochi palette. This one. And I used, what did I use? I think I used this color and then topped it with that color. Those colors right there. Love You So Mochi. And yes, I did not do a base coat. Can't believe I didn't. I just decided I wouldn't. It's not, it's just optional anyway. Hello, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm new. Oh, Becky, Becky, Becky. Welcome, Becky. Welcome to my house. Oh, thank you. Hello, everybody. Let's see if I can pronounce this name. Ooh. Santitos. 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 Salinas. Salinas. 
I probably butchered that one, huh? Hello, honey. Honey. So many pretty names out there. Let's get started. This is what I'm going to do. It's what I'm going to try to do if you're just now coming on. And that was a really easy eye. You guys should try this. It's really easy. So let's go with the purple. In the steam. And let me get my mirror fixed. Okay, so I'm just going to start on the bone. And I'm just going to go in like that. Like a loop. But I'm going on the bone. I have hooded eyes, so I have to pay attention to the hooded eyes. This is over the bone not in the crease and I just start it out lightly and I go all the way to the outer edge and then gently pull my skin I'm not really what you'd call pulling it but I'm just kind of making it taut is that a word taut so we're just gonna go over and over and guys if you don't know me I can't see a thing I have to have my glasses on to see what you're saying one of the perils of getting old but I do check my comments here in a minute and I always 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 answer you after the fact if I miss you at all on the live I always go back and watch the recorded part and then I always answer you so if you have any questions please ask me just going over and over and I'm going all the way in sometimes I don't sometimes I stop right along in here but this I'm going all the way in using a fluffy brush. I always struggle when I do one eye at a time, I struggle trying to get them just alike. Over and over, windshield wiper. Then I'm gonna take the flatter end of this fluffy brush <coughs> and gonna go under the eye. Coming on down. It's very pretty purple. Show you a little trick. If you don't like to use the tape or take the time to do the tape or whatever, do this. This works too. Just get you a little pad. Hold it up there in the area you want. And just use that as your pattern. Facebook, it made me go away. Ah. All right, let me get a little more down there. Right in that corner. I have to go to work tonight. <gasps> I have to go to work. No rest for the wicked. Now I'm going to take this other purple and go right here in the corner with it. Kind of bring it up, gives it a little dimension. I hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday. That purple was a strong purple. Okay, now let me get that other little brush that I have lost. There it is. And let's see, which one did I think I used that one? I'm going to put a little white under the eyebrow to highlight this brow bone area. So glad you're here with me. Thank you for coming. Marsha Holland, Glam Memo. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you don't have to be young and beautiful to like makeup. Say that again. You don't have to be young and beautiful to like makeup. I think there's a stigma out there that people think once they get to a certain age, they shouldn't wear makeup. Where does it say that? They don't say that anywhere on my bottles of makeup. I'm getting on my soapbox. Sorry. Okay. Blend it up a little bit. I like that smooth blur look versus the definite lines. That's personal. I see lots of comments, so I'm about to look at them. 
you can see this right here. See that definite color versus a blurred color? So I prefer the blur. Prefer the blur. See there? Okay, let me get my glasses on. I see lots of sweet people talking to me. This is a very simple look today. Try to start where I was. Oh my goodness. Krista, hi. <laughs> Patricia, there's little um, tricks you can do with hooded eyes. On my YouTube, I put a couple of funny little videos on there about hooded eyes. YouTube is Glam Mama. Uh-oh. I'm always hitting the wrong thing. Hello, hello. Thank you, Patricia. I'm all for tips. I'm always looking for tips, you know. Hi, Gloria. Christina, hi. Oh, you have every Sunday off, Krista, or just today off? Hi, Gloria. Oh, that's good. Hi, Amanda. Oh, thank you. We don't own the rights to any music whatsoever that you might possibly be hearing in the background, Gloria. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> you don't hear music. I don't either. Let's see here if I missed anything. Gloria, where have you been, girl? I know. Thank you, guys. Okay, I think I've got everything. Went back and followed back. <laughs> Gloria. Bed rest. You had better stop that, girl. Get well. Oh, my gosh, Krista. Up at 4 a.m. I'm about to go work days for probably about six weeks. It could be permanent, but... For definitely for about six weeks have to be there at 6 30 which means i'll have to do my whole thing is gonna switch around i'll have to figure out when i'm gonna do what where you know because i'll be getting up very early too thank you cassie hey sandra everybody say hi to everybody this is a happy house happy house happy house sharon are you here don't you let me forget my uh, mascara. <laughs> I'm always forgetting to put my mascara before I do my lash on. Okay, where was I? Okay, I did the, the shadowing up in here. Okay, I think I'm ready to do the lid. Let's do the lid action. Here we go. I got my glasses off now. You know what that means. And I start with this lighter color. It's kind of a white silver color. Using dry brushes today. So we're just going to go all over the lid. This is Love You So Mochi. I always go over in the tear duct area. And then if you have hooded eyes, who was it said they had hooded eyes? If you have hooded eyes, it's perfectly okay for you to come on over, over here in the corner and then go over a little bit under. You see where I'm putting that? Over a little bit. That opens up your eyes, and so that's what us hooded eye girls have to do. We have to open up our eyes. But let's get the lid done. We don't want anything making our eyes look droopy. Okay, that's the first color. Here comes the second color. Oh, and you know I had to do glitter. I did a little bit of glitter. I, it's not in the picture. If you're just getting here, this is what I'm trying to do. It's not in the picture, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. So let's do this other color. It's kind of a bluish gray. These little palettes are pretty cute. These little Love You So Mochi. They, they're very pigmented. 
and they work really well. Are they NYX? What are they? Yeah, NYX. Love you so much, E. Okay, that's really pretty. Over here, and I'm going to get that brush again and put a little more purple under there. Under the lid before I do the mascara and stuff. Let's do this brighter purple. I used to never, ever, ever, never put stuff under my eyelids. Ever. Just mas mascara and eyeliner, but never any color. Pretty dull, see? Let me tell you, mascara and lashes are magic. They are magic. Let me get that blended just a wee bit. It is warm here today. I have actually got my window unit blowing. I think we're supposed to get some rain, but you know, we never know around here. Okay, there's the color. I think it's pretty close. Okay, now we're gonna do what? Now we're gonna do eyeliner. And I'm gonna use my Kiss Eyeliner again. That works best for me. What you need to do is find what works best for you and use it. I can't use liquids anymore. My eye tissues have changed. Thank you, Logan. Oh no, it's 1 a.m. Where are you? Kalani, where are you? Are you in Hawaii? You got a beautiful name. Hi, Deb. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Are y'all saying that you love each other? You better be. Hi, Eric. <laughs> Why don't you go live? This is live. What do you mean? In your group or what? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I'm 72. So you people, you youngsters are going to have to keep me focused. Okay? <laughs> keep me focused. Makeup is therapy. If you know someone, I'm always harping about this. This is my soapbox. If you know anyone that's older and they think they shouldn't be wearing makeup, you encourage them. Say, slap your face. Because, man... It is so fun. Watch. I want you to look at my eyes. I want you to watch what this eyeliner does. I, you know, like I said a while ago, I love the blurred look. So, the gel liner. Let me, let me, let me get this on here first. You can do, um, the wings and all that fancy stuff, you know, better with liquids. But since I am older, I have to back up and, uh, what do we say? Back up and punt. So I got to figure out other things I can do. So I've never really been good. I've never mastered wings. I just do like a little flip, which is fine. I just kind of flip it out towards my brow. But this is what will open up your eyes and make your eyes look bigger. Hang on. Okay, you see? Now watch what I do here. I'm going to go and I'm going to meet what I put at the top. But I'm going to come down further. Under where my eyelashes start, my lower lashes. And it's going to open up my eye. Watch. Also, hooded eye girls, we have to make sure that we're not putting the liner down. We want to make sure that everything we do will go up and out. Okay, up and out. Hooded eyes and also older people that are starting to get the, these little bags and things like that. We want to go up and out. Just remember that. 
coming on around now. I'm going to blur it. Wait just a second. What I'm doing right now is just doing the lash line, not the tear line. Thank you guys for sharing. You're so awesome. Okay, now that was the liner. Now I'm going to get a very special tool. You see how it opened up my eye already? Yeah, special tool here to do the blurring. Look what I found. Pointy, 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 both ends pointy and very firm Q-tips. And I'm just going to go along here and just kind of blend it. And I'm just tapping it. And then I come over here in the corner and I, I brush it up. I want it to kind of blend in with that dimension purple I put in there. See? A little spot there handy dandy man i like them i like them all right now i'm going to finish up the liner with a gel pen i think it's a gel pen it's by milani by milani we're going to go ahead since i'm doing lashes we're going to go ahead and do the tight lining and i am just going to go as close to my lash line as i can get not so close to the eyeball, but to the lash line. I'll put my glasses on in just a second, guys. Then I'm going to come on around all the way. And then we'll do the lash line. I mean the tear line. You know, I really don't think we're going to have a spring here. That's bummer. All right. Let me see what you're saying. My glasses are dirty. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm getting new glasses. I don't know when I'm going to get them, but I'm having an eye exam done on Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm having my eye examined. And so, my eye is examined, and I hope to get new glasses. That's always a big decision, then, at glasses. Where? Where, where, where did I stop? Thank you, Cynthia. How can you tell? Okay, let me tell you how you can tell. Look at your eyes, and then find the very first ridgy wrinkle that you have. If that line is closer to your eyeball than it is to your uh, brows, then you have hooded eyes. I think that's how you do it. Yeah. Check and find out where the closest ridge is, and that'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. There's all kinds of hooded eyes. I mean, there's a, there is, you know, very, very mild. And... <laughs> And then there's some that, oh, the hoods are so... Oh, thank you, Patricia. No. What samples, Gloria? I didn't get anything. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Netherlands. Hi, Netherlands. Isn't, isn't internet awesome? We would never be able to connect if it wasn't for the internet. So glad you're here. Thank you, Krista. The Kiss Eyeliner, you can't find it, Deb? This right here, that's all that is. That's just plain Jane. As you can see, I'm hitting the bottom. Look at there. It's just plain Jane. I found mine in the KISS section. You know, they have a whole section. So that's where I found mine. Rockford, Illinois. Hello. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, you're going to school. Awesome. 
Thank you guys. Okay, let me go ahead and get finished. I need to do my mascara. See, I'm remembering. What? You love my teeth. Ooh, I hate my teeth. Ooh, but thank you. <laughs> I'm missing so many teeth, you know, in the back. Okie dokie. Okay, hello, Eva. All right. Eva, if you're just getting here, this is the look I'm going for. Okay, what was I doing? I need to put the mascara on. So let me go ahead and put the glue on this lash before I forget. So it should be ready by the time I do my mascara. Uh, what do I do with my glue? Oh, there it is. The glue I'm using today is just by Kiss. It's a latex-free. has some aloe vera in it. I got it at Walmart. I've seen it everywhere. Uh, I really do like the red aspen glue, but I'm out and I got to order some more. But we're going to use this today. Very good. You want to let your glue get kind of tacky. When I first started doing lashes, <clears throat> I think one of my issues, I was not letting the glue get tacky enough. And so I don't know. They want to slide everywhere harder to control. So let's do the mascara. Good okay. Did I tight line? Yes, I did. I think I like this look. It was certainly simple. Let's see. I used... I used one, two, three, four, only five colors. <laughs> Makeup is therapy. I will tell you what I'm doing, and I don't realize I'm doing it. I use eyeliner as the parking place to put my lash on, but occasionally I will get too close to my lashes, and I'll get glue on my natural lashes. That is freaky. Don't, don't pull and pull and pull. I have some eye makeup remover that I will, you know, use on it, but I do it very gently. So if you get any glue on your lashes, don't be pulling, pulling, pulling. Just let it do its thing. Okay. All right. There's my mascara. I remember. So let me see. We'll let the glue dry. Uh-oh. We'll let the glue not dry, but get tacky. Thank you. I used to wear flower headbands all the time, but I got away from them and got back into more regular headbands and stuff. So, thank you, Ava. Hi, Alexis. Trishy. Oh, okay. It was, hang on, I'll get it for you. It was called Milani Stay Put. This is in the color black, of course. It's very, very creamy and goes on very, very smooth. I find I have to sharpen it a lot, though. There it is. Milani Stay Put. Does that say waterproof? Holy moly, I didn't know that. It's waterproof. So that means when my allergy eyes kick in and I start weeping, weeping, I'm not going to lose my eye eyeliner. That'll be awesome. I'll have to watch for that tonight. <sighs> okay, here comes the last, the last lash. And I want to thank you guys for coming by and taking your time to visit with me. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. Here we go. I'm going to do an eyelash tutorial. I've been asked to do that several times. I just haven't done it yet. But I'll give you a little quick what I do. You just get you a little tool. I can't use my fingers. If you can use your fingers, then uh, that is wonderful. But I cannot use my fingers. I've tried. My fingers are too fat. But I get a tool and I put it right in the middle of the lash. You see that? Right in the middle. And then you get a mirror, magnified mirror. And you hold that mirror down like that. And then you look down, and I usually use, like, put my hand on the mirror to make it more stable. 
And what I'm doing is I am looking right down in there and I'm looking for the middle, looking for the middle. And I'm going to set that eyelash right in the middle on my eyeliner, twisting my wrist up just ever so slightly. And then once I get on there, then I'm going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. Uh oh, here, I'm glad that happened because I forgot to tell you. This tool, I got paste on the tool. So if you get pa uh, paste, I got glue on my tool. If you don't clean your tool in between, that's what happens. It pulls it back. So let's do it again. I usually tell people about that and I forgot to tell you. So here we go. We're going to do this again. Right in the middle and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I always wiggle first in the middle and then I do the outer edges. And one little tip for me anyway, I'm pushing is what I'm doing right now, pushing. And then I come under with my finger where my real lash is and kind of go up. Just a little. These are not new lashes. They are used three or four times. Here's a little trick. Did you a sandwich toothpick? I got mine at, uh, where did I get it? I've shown you this before, but I don't remember. Applebee's. Applebee's. Okay, so when the glue dries, that's your time where you want to take your eyeliner and you want to touch it up. Sometimes I've actually gone on top of it. If, you know, if I can see the color through it or see the shadow through it or, you know, maybe I didn't get it on directly on my eyeliner. Like this one's kind of crooked. But what I'll do when I give the glue time to dry and then I'll go back over it with that liner and it will work. It will look fine. I'm going to do a after picture and you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? How's everybody? Anybody new? You put put new. Mm. Coconut pineapple water. I like it. Every once in a while, I get tired of carbonated drinks. I like carbonated drinks. I drink a lot of carbonated drinks. Shouldn't drink as much as I drink. Every once in a while, I like one that's not carbonated, and these are really good. They're not carbonated, but very good. Antioxidant drink. Okay, guys, today's uh, shadows were done with NYX Love You So Mochi and uh, Bad Habit After Charge and NYX Steam. The lashes I used are... Salon Perfect Clusters. Let's see if I've got the box out. I don't know if I do or not. Let me look. Let me look. No, I don't have the box out. I have got to organize my lashes. <laughs> what a mess they are in. All right, guys. Let me... Oh, my lips. I forgot to tell you about my lips. My lips are Gerard Cosmetics Fuzzy Navel. Show ya. A metal mat. It's awesome. That's on the lips. And it is a, a matte finish. So I don't really like matte anything. I, my face, I don't like to be matte. So I always use powder on my face. But I don't like matte lips either. So I got this by AJ Cosmetics from Hush. You guys ever heard of Hush? Where you can get some real reasonable... Uh, cosmetics. Uh, it's called, this is called Daddy. And this is what's making my lips shine. Right here. Daddy. Fuzzy Navel and Daddy. Crazy. Crazy means. <sighs> oh yeah, girl, Julie. Oh. Yeah, I haven't mastered that yet. Do you know, Julie, I have not done tried to invite someone on since that time cuz I you know, I don't I don't see people doing that very often either. Thank you guys. Hi Kelly. Kelly's new. Welcome Kelly. Where are you from? 
Do I have grandchildren? <laughs> I have nine grandchildren and 11 great grandchildren. I have three grown children. Yes. The lips are matte, but I covered it with the lip gloss. I'll put um, I'll put the link to Gerard Cosmetics, and you should get a discount using my link. So I'll put that link in there for you if you're interested. All my cos all my makeup, my skincare, everything comes from uh, my Acti Lab. So if you want me to put that in there, I will. I guess I better go. I gotta go throw my lunch together. You know, I gotta work for a living. Can't always be fun. Shoot, Marsha Holland, Glam Mama. Anybody got any questions before we go? Questions, questions. Here's the look today. Gotta get them a like. Pretty close, I think. Pretty close. These eyes have been around a long time. Uh, long time. Southern Ohio. Welcome, Ohio. Australia. I have a couple of friends from Australia that watch me, Mandy. That's cool. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Mama, M A M A W, one word, Mama. Glam, Mama. Yes. Thank you, Misty. Makeup is fun. Makeup is fun. And good night. You would never get tired or bored of makeup because there is so much stuff. Do you know that's a billion dollar business out there? Yeah. I go into Ulta and I'm like so overwhelmed. I can't even think straight. I know. They probably look at me and think, what is wrong with that old lady? You know, but I can't even think straight. I get so overwhelmed. Oh, wait. I just thought of something. I forgot my glitter. Pretty Too Faced. Oh, shoot. And I used this pretty, which one did I? I think I used this one right here. Used my finger. I forgot my glitter. Dang it. Should have done that before I did the eyeliner. Hey, I am such a late bloomer. I didn't do any of this stuff when I was your age or younger. Did not. All I did was eyebrow pencil, eyeliner, mascara. I, think I might have done a little bit of powder and I did blush and lipsticks. That's it. <clears throat> Hardly any. There I go. I have to have a little sparkle. Thank you, Patricia. I'll put my uh, YouTube uh, link in the comments, okay, when we get off. As soon as this post, I'll go back in and check to see if I missed anybody's comments, and then I'll put the links in then, okay? All right, guys, I got to go pack my lunch. I thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Share me, share me, share me. Um, yeah, I got to get ready. So, I love you. Watch the replay if you're just now coming on, okay? Yeah, got to do that glitter. Got to do that glitter. You betcha. Got to do that glitter. I love it because it kind of falls right here every once in a while. So, I'm looking at my patients, you know, and I'm thinking, I wonder if they see my glitter. <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. I will talk to you guys later. Oh, you missed it, Kaylee. Go back and look at replay, okay? I love you. If you have any questions, Kaylee, you just, uh-oh, my dogs. If you have any questions, just put them in comments and I'll get back to you, okay? I love you. Bye, everybody. Bye.